So when people think about the budget and NASA's budget in this country, they tend to think about Congress and the responsibility that Congress has in setting that every year, which makes a lot of sense because you hear about Congress doing the budget every year. But Congress is actually the endpoint of a really important process that happens between the White House and the federal agencies that it covers. Understanding that process is actually crucial to understanding the conditions of the debate that then Congress has about that budget that year. And that all begins here at the White House. So remember, NASA is part of the executive branch. The White House is NASA's boss. So NASA policy is White House policy and vice versa. And the White House executes its policy for NASA through what's called the President's Budget Request. And that's a document that kicks off the budget season at Congress, but takes about a year to put together. That lays out a five-year plan for what they think NASA's going to do and how much they think NASA's going to get. Now, this all actually happens not at the White House, but here at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. So very early on in the year, the CFO gets together with other leadership and they put together their best case scenario budget, what they think they can do within the president's priorities for the next few years. They work on that for a while and when they're done, usually about middle of the year, they send it over here to the Office of Management and Budget, this building right behind me. The OMB is the bookkeeper of the federal government. So anything NASA wants to do in terms of a new mission to Europa or a new mission to Mars has to be okayed by the people in these offices behind me. Nothing happens in space without the approval from these guys. Now when they're done with NASA's budget, they send it back to NASA. So NASA looks at the pass back and they might not agree with some of the decisions that the OMB made. And this is their chance to kind of make a counter offer to the OMB. And after a month or so, they give it back here to the OMB. When they get their final revision, that's what becomes the president's budget request. The important thing here is that this cycle happens between NASA and between the OMB. Congress has no part in this. They're about a 15 to 20 minute walk between those two sides of the Capitol. So if you're doing a bunch of meetings in one day, you're actually getting a really good workout. And that brings us back here to Congress. It's only after this year-long interplay between NASA, between the White House, between the Office of Management and Budget, that Congress even begins to weigh in on this stuff. And this is why it's crucial that we talk to everybody. If we can change those initial conditions to be more representative of what we want for space, our job with Congress becomes a lot easier. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this topic, check out the link in the description to this video. Otherwise, you can always go to planetary.org/spaceadvocate.